This is Granby Park. This is where we walk down to. And then this over here is the bathrooms, water, and sitting area, and also emergency call box. It goes directly to the police. So if something happens, you can call them, you have an emergency, etc. It's pretty nice looking just from the onset. So we're going to go down that road and find out what it looks like. Granby Park is right off the Congaree River and as you can see they have little seating areas all along here where you can sit down and enjoy the hum of the river. See this guy? There's a guy over there already. So I walked down this road and found this little like looks like people made it over to this wall, this brick wall. That's behind where you get all the you get the water and the bathrooms and stuff. I'm gonna go over here really quick and see what it is. What it is, man? <laughs> uh, it looks like it might have been some type of or something. Oh, wow. So, just be careful, guys, when you come over here. Looks like all kinds of stuff growing in there. Yeah, I guess it used to be a silo once, I guess. I don't know. Cool. So we travel down this edge of the road, all the way down the river. Oh my. <laughs> the one thing about this journey that's been driving me crazy is the sun is directly in your eyes as you walk. But just look at that view. And then also, it goes right by this old abandoned railroad area here. Which we think is pretty cool, huh, man? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's abandoned or not, but... It doesn't look like they use it anymore. So there's even more to walk, but we're not going to do that because we're starting to get So we did want to step over here and take a look at this abandoned railroad area. Maybe it's not totally abandoned. It doesn't look like it's used very much anymore. Hello. Got some graffiti. There's some people down here and they go fishing here. So that's pretty cool. Looks like... So there are these little trails all over the place. You don't really know where they lead exactly. So guys, when you come here to Granby Park, we suggest Buddy System. <laughs> because so much of it is undeveloped that if something happens, you need to be able to get somebody who can get you out of there. And there are lots of police call boxes, so if anything happens, you can press that button and get the cops out here, or EMS or whatever. But it isn't really developed as much as you would think a park would be so There's that. that would be our advice okay guys here's some final thoughts on granby park i'm going to do a little bit more research to see how how long this park has been around because it really has a lot of potential it has nice river area it looks like they're trying to really build it up however all of the police boxes and some of the stuff we saw go down in there were pretty sure drug deals um <laughs> there was a homeless guy catching turtles and i really don't have anything you know i don't i don't mind that so much because most most of the time when they're in there trying to catch their food you know Homeless people are mostly harmless. They just want what everyone else wants, and that's to be left alone to live their lives. I know, I was homeless once. So, I don't really so much mind that as much as I mind, like, the drug deals, and putting all of those police call boxes makes me think it's an unsafe area. So, unfortunately, where this place has a lot of potential, I think it needs still a lot of work, and I don't want to send you guys off to some place that is gorgeous. Mind you, it's gorgeous but then it could be potentially hazardous for you and not tell you. So I would suggest, like I said before, buddy system, and then also with the buddy system, don't go past like 3 p.m. because it seems like that's what's going on. If you're hearing cats, courage is outside, 
And Soul Patch is inside, and they're meowing and, and yelling at each other. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> because that's how freakish my cats are. But anyway, uh, I would give this place maybe two stars because you can only really enjoy it. It's open six to dusk, and you you can only really enjoy it. Like I would only be up. I'd be up about ten, so about ten to three probably. <coughs> But it has great potential, so Columbia, pay attention and get this done, guys, because Granby Park has a real potential to be a nice historic place, a nice park for people to go to, and all this stuff. So, I don't know, I was really kind of disappointed, and sometimes that happens when you travel, you go someplace that you think is awesome, and, well, it's not so awesome. <laughs> So anyway, guys, go, do go, and enjoy it during the day. Take a buddy, you know, make sure you're, you stay in the well-lit areas. Don't, there are lots of trails that it looks like people have created. Don't go down those, because I don't know where they go, and I was not safe. I did not feel safe or comfortable going there. It set off a lot of alarm bells. It is also behind an apartment complex, so that also could be part of that factoring in. Yes, courage, yes, buddy. He wants inside. He wants inside to bother his mother. That's why I'm not letting him in just yet. He's already had breakfast, so he's not hungry. He just wants to go inside and bother his mother. So anyway, guys, uh, that's my final thoughts on Granby Park. Let me know if you go down in the comments or send me an email and tell me what you think. It could be fun to converse about this. <laughs> so until next time, guys, I'll see you later.